Hi, my name's Dean Jeffries, and I'd like to share a vision I've been holding for the last eight years about creating a wind and solar powered catamaran. I've been a skipper of a beautiful catch called Nigaloo 2 for the last 13 years that I've been using as a platform to raise important marine conservation issues. As beautiful as she is, I haven't been happy about using the diesel and oil engine with all the pollution and carbon that it creates. Hence the Solar Cat vision. You can read more about my vision and goals and ways people can invest and get involved on my website or attached information. Yet for now, I'd like to take you on a little adventure on the perfect cat for the vision that is about to become available to purchase. If it's not this cat, there are many other suitable options. Okay, we're just about ready to go out the bar. A few breaking waves, but uh, looking pretty good. And there's a whale straight out in front. After a, uh, a rough night last night when the diesel engines sort of uh, stopped working, we uh, had to spend the night in there and everyone got covered in diesel. And uh, now we're going to use some wind power. It would have been nice to have electric engines, but anyway, here we go. We're off to Lady Musgrave. Yeah, hey, well, we've got the screecher up now and we're really screeching. We're doing about 10 knots and it's incredible just to feel the speed and the stability in this amazing boat. At the moment, we're doing about nine and a half knots and about uh, 15 knots of wind. And we're just going past the Glasshouse Mountains at the moment and uh, we're cranking and uh, we'll probably get into Lady Musgrave in about 24 hours at this rate, about 200 miles a day we're going to do. So, yeah, we are absolutely flying and it's so comfy here, you know, it's, it's amazing. We've been sailing on this beautiful Uttarima 55 and this is the perfect boat for, um, for this vision, this Sun Sailor vision. I uh, want to uh, convert it to electricity. It's already got some solar panels on it, but it's got heaps of area for putting solar panels on. And, you know, as efficient as this is, and it's a beautifully efficient boat, but sometimes you just, you know, need to motor to get to somewhere, you know, by a certain time or the weather's closing in or whatever. Coming up here, we actually motored for about 20 hours, which is about, I don't know, four or $500 worth of fuel. Um, if we had an electric engine, um, we could have, done all that just with the power of the sun you know so you know there's um, some great advantages of having like maybe one diesel engine as a backup and then the electric engine you know to use as an auxiliary to the wind she's a beautiful boat she's got five double cabins and really well set up with water makers and just everything you could think of so um, perfect boat to convert to uh, electric catamaran